from Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Good morning, I'm Caitlin Nuclo. It is Saturday, April 17th. Happening today, almost half of the people here in Connecticut have gotten at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. And now the attention is shifting to the younger generation. So this weekend, the Community Health Center is working together with local schools to get the shots into students' arms. Starting today, about 400 students at the Xavier and Mercy High Schools will get the shot. And on Sunday, about 600 students and parents from Middletown High School will join in as well. That drive through clinic is happening today, and it's by appointment only. Turning to the latest coronavirus numbers here in Connecticut, the positivity rate is at 2.27%. In the last day, there have been more than 1,000 new cases confirmed in our state. And some good news today for the people who live in New Britain. The mayor's proposing a tax cut there for the next budget. The mayor's proposal includes a 2% reduction on personal property, real estate, and motor vehicle taxes. She believes they can sustain this reduction for almost three years. A family of four would save about $350 a year. People can voice their opinions about it at a public hearing next week. A Bloomfield woman is facing murder charges this morning. Police say Marianne Duncan shot and killed 39 year old, a 39 year old Bloomfield man during a domestic dispute that happened last Saturday. Duncan is in the hospital this morning. That's where she is in custody of the judicial marshals. She was arraigned remotely through a video conference yesterday. Her bond has been set at $1 million. Hi everyone, Lauren Richardson here with your Channel 3 forecast on this Saturday. And so you can see today we are looking at high temperatures that are only going to be in the mid 50s, but it is going to be mostly dry. We can't rule out the chance of a spot shower as we head in towards tomorrow. A little bit better. I'm saying that's the pick of the weekend with some clouds and sun and seasonal temperatures near 60. So forecast highs for today once again in the 50s. Those lows for tonight are going to be in the 30s and the upper or the low 40s actually. So definitely bundle up heading out the door that seven day forecast showing us a warming trend as we get towards next week. 70 degrees on Tuesday and 60 degrees on Wednesday with a chance of some showers on Wednesday and Thursday as well. Temperatures dipping down as we head towards next weekend.